twisted and rotated and that's actually the here you go he's injured he injured his knee you can see that after the injury is quite a lot leg is planted twisted and rotated hello everyone i'm professor paul lee acl and cartilage surgeon we're looking at alfonso davis today when he's playing for his country sustained an acl injury let's look at the video and see what it looked like there he is he's walking off after the ACL injury, he's still trying to get back onto it. Um, let's have a look at the initial injury right here. Leg is planted, twisted, and rotated. And that's actually the... Here you go. He's injured. He injured his knee. You can see that after the injury, it's quite a lot. Leg is planted, twisted, and rotated. As the usual mechanism of ACL injury, this is typically uh, very common of when a sportsman tear the ACL. It's again, it's the same thing. Leg is planted, and then the knee is twisted. The femur is get pushed behind to the tibia. So what happened is that the ACL is ruptured. The joint is get semi dislocated. The meniscus will usually get torn. And when the meniscus get torn, what will happen is that the joint is no longer as stable. ACL is something that keeping the joint stable, but meniscus is extremely important because meniscus is something that is wrong. You can see that the femur is actually wrong and then the tibia is flat. The meniscus is adapting the wrong top to a flat bottom, thinking of it like a golf tee stating the ball at the top to make things balance. If you've broken that, if there's rupture, the ball is no longer going to stay there. This is extremely important because the blood supply to meniscus is not amazing. Without blood supply, things do not heal. I'm Professor Paul Lee. Stay young, be strong, live forever. See you in the next episode.